Council has started the process to remove one of Mayor Cantrell's top aides. They have been investigating communications director Gregory Joseph for months in connection with the controversial flyer. Well, today they voted Joseph actions warrant termination. Lily Cummings was there. She joins me in studio right now. Lily, we have to ask this. What comes next? Well, Sharice, the mayor will of course be notified. She has until this Friday to remove Joseph. If she doesn't, another hearing will take place on October 3rd with the ultimate decision on Joseph's employment left up to the city council. By a vote of four to two, these motion, the motion is approved. In a historic vote, the city council moved to terminate communications director Gregory Joseph. This is from our research, the first time the New Orleans City Council has ever moved to terminate an unclassified employee pursuant to the charter. The vote comes after thousands of New Orleans voters received this mailer earlier this year as the recall to remove Mayor Cantrell from office was underway. Joseph testified that he hired a firm to create the mailer but said it was informational and had nothing to do with the recall. The council claims evidence and contradicting testimony proves otherwise. The idea that you could have a civil servant throw away over 50 grand on a political mailer to benefit their boss and then kind of flip the entire city off and say, ha ha, nothing you can do to me. I think that sends a tremendously poor message to the citizens. Now the mayor must terminate Joseph by the end of the week. If she doesn't, another public hearing will be held where the administration and Joseph can dispute any of the facts that were revealed in the months long investigation. At that hearing, the council will have the final vote on Joseph's employment. Councilmember Green, who voted no on Tuesday, said removing Joseph shouldn't be taken lightly. In general, I don't agree with the removal proceedings that are being brought. Um, I felt that there could be a little bit more consulting and that there might be alternatives to this measure. But the majority, including Councilmember Harris, voted yes. Mr. Joseph clearly lied to us while under oath. I don't think that the city of New Orleans can afford to employ someone who is dishonest, not only with the city council, but dishonest with the public. Council President Morell said it's possible that the mayor could rehire Joseph, but he said that would be, quote, a mistake. The council has said none of the evidence implicates the mayor. We did reach out to the mayor's office for comment on today's decision, but we have not heard back. Sharice. All right, Lily.